So I'd like to know about this airline buying an oil refinery, but the New York Times has this paywall and I don't think I want to get a New York Times subscription. So we're going to use a little basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to get around this. In Chrome, use Command-Shift-C to open up your DevTools to the Elements section. We don't need anything from inside the head tags, so we can leave those closed. Everything we're going to need is inside of the body tags. So the most obvious thing in our way is this big element right here, and it's got some stuff inside of it like this form, but what we want is the entire thing, which is this div with a ID of gateway content. So just click that and press delete. So there's also this like background shadow that you may care about, you may not, because it doesn't really change the legibility of the text, but if you do, just scroll down and you want to find the div with a class of CSS1BD8BFL or whichever one has a background with a linear gradient. The remaining problem is that we still can't scroll down to see the content. So we gotta go find a div with a class name of CSSMCM29F because it has a style of overflow hidden. We can just delete that class and now we can scroll. Some pages still get this position of fixed right here on the main with an ID of site content, so you can just delete the entire style tag. And now you can scroll again. Doing this manually is annoying, so we're gonna write some JavaScript that does it for us. So a quick recap of what we did, we deleted two divs, one with an ID of gateway content, one with a class of CSS1BD8BFL. Then we found two scroll lock divs, one with a class of CSSMCM29F and one with an ID of site content, and we removed the class on the first one and the style tag on the second. So in JavaScript, We'll do this like document.get element by ID and we'll pass it gateway content and then just call the dot remove method on that. For that linear gradient shadow div, we're going to say document.get elements by class name and here we'll pass css1bd8bfl. And then this gives us back an array, so we need to select the first thing we get back using the zero index, and then we'll say dot remove. For the first scroll octave, we're going to say document dot get elements by class name. We're going to pass the class of CSS MCM 29F in here, and that's again going to give us back an array, and we're going to select the first thing with the zero index. Then off of its class list, we want to remove the class of CSS MCM 29F. For the second scroll octave, we're going to say document.getElement by ID. We're going to pass it the ID of site content. On that, we're going to call remove attribute, and we're going to pass it the attribute of style. Now, if you take that script and copy paste it into your console, you can get there when you open your dev tools just by clicking to the console tab, and you paste it in here and run it. Now it'll just do all of that for you. In Windows, you can use Control-Shift-J. In Mac, you can use Command-Option-J to just open your dev tools straight to the console. To close out of your dev tools, you can use the same shortcut keys that you used to open it, or you can click this little gray X over here. I hope this video helps you access more information, and if it does, please share the knowledge with other people. And consider writing your own scripts to get around other paywalls, because it's very good practice for CSS, HTML, and basic JavaScript.